platforms to blue, the power connection to this sim... Alright, I'm here. Now tell me how you can help me find my friends. I know how to navigate the Zin systems and travel between them. If you can find the right simulation, I can open a gateway between that one and yours. I know you're not doing this out of the kindness of your heart. So why are you helping me? Because I have no love for the Zin, as I was once their prisoner too. I have been stuck inside the Zin simulations, creating rifts, which cause chaos for Zinya. Though the Zin inevitably shut them down. What do you want from me? Your help ensures I am able to keep them open permanently. A benefit to us both. So why aren't you doing this yourself? My body has long since died. I implanted my consciousness into the main simulation computer many years ago. If you don't have a body, the fuck you gonna help me? I cannot. That is, not unless you find me a physical, mobile form I can download my memory matrix into first. Always a Keep my word, and pay my debt. Besides, you know you need me. I jump through your hoops. What's next? My access code is 1331. One. Use it when you find me a suitable form. Now use your fire blast on those people. It will ignite anyone in the blast radius. Got more where that came from. Now this would be great at a barbecue. More element types exist in this simulation for various powers, if you are able to find or create the code that is. Thanks for the help. It is not help, only repaying my debt. Now I will let you continue on your quest to find me the body you promised. Along with the CIDs, Zen are transporting a prototype for a contained force recursive feedback projector. Kizzy, that sounds like total bullshit even coming from you. <sighs> Imagine a gun that fires a bullet that bounces from one target to another to another to another like a pinball racking up a billion points. Ooh. Careful not to damage all the CIDs. I don't know when or if we'll get another chance to get one of these. Chill, Kenzie. I got this. Which one of these things should I grab? It doesn't matter. Just pick one. Ow! God damn it! What did you do? I touched it. Well, touch it different next time. What the fuck is this, Kenzie? Don't pin this on me. Yeah, this thing's busted. You, don't you blow up too? Did it! Finally! Quick, get to a safe spot so you can crack it open. Do I need to go far? Just away from the Zin. Pick some place they won't find you. How long will this take? I won't know until I crack open the device and see how it ticks. Alright, this spot looks safe. Keep an eye out while I work on this. I guarantee the finding these devices remotely. 
Damn it, they found me. Don't let them take the CID. Work fast. What the fuck you thinking? How much longer you need? Would you like to take over? I could shoot aliens for a while. <laughs> like to see you try. Kinsey, any day now. Almost done. for uploading and putting the AI code now and how long is this part gonna take 55 minutes 55 minutes I thought this would take three to five tops look the connection in this area is slow get closer to each point like a power plant and this might go faster why didn't you send me there first because a major connection point for the simulation is going to be heavily guarded but Sid will download faster right well, probably but then we doing this over there Once Sid's up and running, how long till he can spring my crew? Well, assuming the AI wasn't lying, I don't see a reason why we shouldn't be able to get right to it. Speaking of which, who do you want to grab first? Pierce? Shondi? Let's, um, get Matt first. Miller? Oh my god, why? Matt changed after Steelport. He joined MI6, helped us with Cyrus Temple, and, you know, he's, he's useful. Useful? Look, you have your hands full, Kinsey. With all this Cyrus... I figure you could use the help. I'm doing just fine without Matt Miller. Thanks. Two heads are better than one, Kinsey. Don't argue. No gangbanging days. Who's got next? I'm here. Just need to handle these in first. Turn on the switch and... Got it. Excellent. Will it be much longer? What the hell, Kinsey? That's just part of the process. I guess he's just saying what I'm already thinking. The full download should only take about 16 minutes. Can't you do anything to make it go faster? I'll see what I can find. There might be additional access points we can use to increase the bandwidth. Much for a challenge.
pretty much like I thought it would. Personality transfer at 31%. I found an access point that can help speed this along. Get to it and activate it. I'm there. Turned it on. There's a second access point out further. Reach the second one. All right, both access points taken care of. How's the download? Much faster. Much, much too fast. Too fast! Sid is overloading. Yeah. Overloading? Overheating. Get to him and cool him down. Okay, we're good. We're fine. I managed to throttle the connection a bit, so it should be much more stable now. How much longer till the download's done? Three minutes. Fine. I get to kill a few more waves of Zen. Huh? Now they're throwing some sort of murder bots at me. Murder bot? Oh, wow. I'm having a much stronger reaction. You think we could put Sid in one of these murder bots instead? Do you really want to give some rogue AI an exoskeleton equipped with a complement of weapons and a history of violence? Well, since you put it that way. Besides, I already found a real CID body for him on the ship. So, you know, synchronicity. Oh my god, why does this hurt so much? Personality transfer at 74%. So much for a challenge. Data bottleneck encountered. It's full of stars. Fuck you, 
take it. Download complete. All right. Time to kill us some aliens. Oh, God. I'm gonna regret getting Sid a real body, aren't I? Sid, you and me are gonna be best buds. Again? Uh, can Take him down and I should be able to transfer some of his powers to you. Yeah, man. My brain feels like it's on fire. <laughs> but in a good way, though. <laughs> Welcome to being able to move things with your mind. Giant floating ball. Yeah. It has more clusters in it. So get up with your mind and smash it open. Okay, now use that power to throw things at the warden and take down his shields. Nice job. I'm sure you'll have plenty of chances to use it. Welcome to Professor Genki's Mind Over Murder! Brought to you in part by everybody's favorite alien overlord, Shinyak! That's right, folks. The Maven of Mascot Mayhem has teamed up with the Conqueror of countless galaxies to create an all-new Genki experience. As folks at home know, by exploiting weaknesses in Zinyak's meticulously crafted simulation, our contestant has gained the power of telekinesis. But they will have to master the power of the mind to complete the challenges ahead of them today. I can now see why the professor is so eager to join forces with Zinyak. This should make for an interesting addition to the Genki family of games. Right you are, Bobby. So let's meet our contestant. The winner of Genki Ball 7, and our favorite contestant, the President of the United States. Or whatever bits are still floating around in space, right, Zach? <laughs> too soon, Bobby. Too soon. Let's get to the action. So, Bobby, how do you think the addition of superpowers is going to affect the game? A submachine gun is a fine thing, but nothing, nothing compares to the unlocked potential of the human animal. Super speed, super jump, and moving things around with the power of your mind? I'm expecting high action and lots of flailing bodies. <laughs> Makes you wish you had super power. And that's it for our first match. Excellent job by our contestants. 